The 2019 FSI's guide recommends using the Basel shorthand method for calculation of net open position in foreign currency. The nominal amount of the net position for each foreign currency and of gold is first converted into the reporting currency using the spot rate. The net open position is then calculated by adding the sum of the net short positions or the sum of the net long positions, whichever is greater, plus the absolute value of the gold position. In this example, the net long position in foreign exchange results from adding the higher net open position, long, 900 domestic currency units, to the absolute value of the short position in gold for an overall net open position of 970. To understand how a mismatch between the value of foreign currency, denominated assets and liabilities results in foreign currency exchange risk, let's consider a simplified example. Consider a bank that has made a foreign currency denominated loan to a non-financial corporation in the amount of $100. For simplicity, assume that is the only foreign currency denominated asset of the bank. The loan could be funded by accepting a $100 deposit. This results in a square or balanced foreign currency position. The $100 loan in the assets is exactly matched by the $100 deposit in the liabilities. In the case of a square or balanced position, exchange rate movements will not result in foreign currency gains or losses because the value of the foreign currency denominated assets and liabilities is the same. The loan could be funded by purchasing $100 using the domestic currency. This results in a long foreign currency position. The bank has $100 more in foreign currency denominated assets than it's a zero position in foreign currency denominated liabilities. Log position means more foreign currency denominated assets than foreign currency denominated liabilities. With the long foreign currency position, gains or losses will result from exchange rate movements because that bank has more foreign currency denominated assets than liabilities. Depreciation of domestic currency makes the foreign currency denominated asset worth more when expressed in domestic currency units. So there is a foreign exchange gain. Appreciation of the domestic currency makes the foreign currency denominated assets worth less when expressed in domestic currency units. So there is a foreign exchange loss. The bank could also have a short position in foreign currency. If the bank raises a $100 foreign currency denominated deposit and uses the funds to purchase domestic currency, this results in a short foreign currency position. The bank has $100 more in foreign currency denominated liabilities than it's a zero position in foreign currency denominated assets. With a short foreign currency position, the gain or losses from exchange rate movements are opposite to the long position just discussed. This simplified example has illustrated that the deposit taker sector is exposed to foreign currency risk if it has an open position, either long or short, in foreign currency. Depending on the position and direction of exchange rate movement, losses or gains can be incurred. The core FSIs 
provide insights into the level of this foreign currency risk by measuring the net open position relative to capital.